Hi, welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, I look a mess. I'm doing my nails right now. I just want to come on here and do like a quick video. I posted a video not too long ago. A follow up on that video, y'all. I still work at the dog place. Um, I did not leave. I seen the paycheck that Friday. Okay. Um, I seen my paycheck that Friday and was like, what? So I am redoing my green nails. Video for that will be down below. Um, so I'm redoing them or like repainting them. So yeah, I'm just gonna add some stuff. So I just wanted to touch bases on jobs, y'all. I have applied to, in the last like week, I know I look a mess. I wanna do my hair today. I just don't know what I wanna do to it. Um, With all these job applications and job interviews, uh, I'm trying to find something where I can do my hair and not mess up my hair because with dogs I have to get dirty and I only want hair in my hair so I wear a scarf so for me it just makes no sense unless I'm going to put on a full-on bonnet you know it makes no sense for me to do my hair cute and stuff because I'm going to end up getting it dirty but this video was just a video to speak on these jobs that I've been applying for and I had an interview, I supposed to have three interviews, four, three interviews were scheduled for today. Um, I've only done one, but I have four interviews today. So it's supposed to be three, I only had, it was supposed to be three, I was able to get four scheduled and then I did one so far, but yeah, so. My first interview went pretty well. So I'm bad at reading job descriptions. <laughs> Not necessarily bad at it, like I don't know what they're talking about, but I'll read like the first few sentences of a job description and be like, oh yeah, this the one. And then when I apply and then they're like, we're gonna call you for an interview. When I do the interview or before, so before I do interviews, I do always go back to the job description to be sure that it aligns with what I'm looking for in the job. So I will write down like today, I wrote down in my book of just certain um, key points that I wanted to speak about as far as, you know, they will ask, well, why do you wanna work here? And what qualities you feel like you can bring to the um, position? So I will write stuff down, but in this case, I read the job description when I first applied and was, yeah, this the one. <laughs> and when I did the re, when I went back and looked at the job description, it wasn't what I thought it was, but when they called, so, okay, one thing I will say, if you can put your phone on to where it's the silent calls so if a call doesn't have a name specifically or a company specifically it'll go straight to your email and then they'll be able to just leave you a message to where you're able to call them back if you want to if you don't then whatever so that's what i did and i'm happy that i did that just because they can leave a message and then I know who's calling. I won't just answer the phone and be blindsided by an interview. Uh, I was able to prepare myself. <laughs> and the interview went well, but the job is more of like a dispatching job, which I'm okay with. You know, uh, I want more of a office setting type of job. And that's what I want. But I have been applying to different jobs because the job that I'm at now, as y'all know, again, I did a story time. It should be uploading up soon. Um, I know for a fact it'll be up today. So 
I did that. And the job is just not working for me no more. I had a job interview. What day was that? Last Wednesday or Thursday. And I had to let the lady know, like, hey, I got to be somewhere um, and I have to go. And so we went into the room. She was just explaining the job. And I believe they started at 7 o'clock. That's kind of early. But, yeah. So, training for that started yesterday. So, I went in yesterday and I was, like, low-key excited because I really wanted something that that I would just like. Like, you ever just want to wake up and do a job? Some people don't mind waking up and going to a job that just pays the most money and they're not happy working there. I'm the opposite. Yes, I want to make money, but I also want to work a job that, like, makes me happy. Like, I don't want to keep working at jobs that don't make me happy. So... This job was working at a rehab slash nursing facility. And I wasn't the happiest. Um, and the train, like, the job wasn't going to be bad. It was just more so of the environment. I was just, mm, like, mm, I, don't, I honestly don't want to talk about it. Because some people get touchy about older people. But, yeah, the job, the environment was just... So, the lady who was there with me that was training for another position, she said she was in her department. And an older person, like, I guess she had a wheelchair. And she, like, rolled up to them. And, like, just started cussing the lady out. And was um, throwing bowls and stuff. Like, the bowls could, like, say the bowls are on the counter. She just pushing the bowls off the counter on the floor. I thought to myself, in the position that I had, I was going to, of course, be around them. And, like, we was going to be face-to-face. -face. So, I'm thinking to myself, should I put myself in this position to where an older person may do something of that sort to me? Like say something or you know because you have to know how to keep your cool or whatever so that happened and then also yesterday there was this one lady i didn't hear this on my on my <clears throat> maybe she was asleep i didn't hear this on my on the interview day but the lady was in the hallway y'all when i tell y'all this lady was screaming at the top of her lungs, she was screaming at the top of her lungs. And it happened every three minutes. And I'm just thinking to myself, do I want to hear this every day when I work? I'm trying to be in a place that is not loud, you know, coming from a dog place. And so all these things just made me think about, dang, do I regret leaving the job that I was at? And then I have to remind myself, the only thing that I liked about that job was the hours and the days that I worked. That was it. As far as the people, the pay, I love the position, um, but I didn't like the location. Everything else sucked besides the position and the days and my hours and stuff. The days of the week that I worked. Other than that. So that was a reminder of no Tanisha. You're doing fine. There's no need to want to go back. So before I left, I was able to use my PTO, which helped me look for jobs, which got me the job at the dog place. Um, the person that hired me doesn't even work there anymore. So um, that kind of makes me want to leave too. But as of right now, they've been paying my bills. And yeah, they're very nice, very flexible. Um, they do need the help, so it's not like I'm not working in a place that doesn't need help again. They asked me, or well, they basically was like, you got to choose. And I'm not going to person where I'd rather just be 
not I'd rather just be let go. I've never been fired from a job. Never, ever, ever want to be fired from a job. What I was really going to do was something that I'm not going to tell y'all because they're going to try to take my secret. But, yeah, I was just like, I'm not going to be fired. Like, y'all not about to fire me. So, let me go ahead and tell y'all that I'm going to come and work for y'all still. And I'm just leave this other place. But I wanted to leave the other place anyways because I, I wouldn't have wanted to go through all that paperwork and computer stuff to not come back next week or to be like, yeah... This isn't going to work. And I want to think they're, op they're open 24 hours, 365 days. So, at least the place that I work at, they are off on holidays. And they're not open on Sundays. They're open Saturdays, but not on Sundays. I can do Saturdays, but not Sundays. Um, but I'm really, I'm looking for a Monday to Friday job. Saturday to Friday, Wednesday to Friday. Y'all, I am a three to four day a week type of worker. I don't care to work five days a week. Like, that takes out too much time of my day. But if anybody knows any jobs that are hiring at home, please let me know. Because I've been applying for them, but either no one's getting back. Like, the platform that I'm using is Indeed. But they're not on there <laughs> like nobody is answering any of my applications that i'm putting in except the people who are probably like really on there like get majority of their workers from there a lot of people don't get their workers from indeed they just go through agencies or whatever but no i'm on there like please check your email i'm on there so yeah, so I think I'm going to do my hair today. I just don't know what I'm going to do to my hair. But I'm going to do it. We're good. <laughs> we back. <laughs> so this nail I had took off. And y'all, my cousin, she's probably going to watch this video. Or probably not. I'm not really sure. She keeps telling me when I do her nails, her nails pop off. So I'm going to do, not right now. It's probably going to be a separate video. I'm going to do a nail video of how I do nails and I really want y'all to comment down below I I need for y'all to comment down below everybody that watches that particular video if you do not do nails it don't even matter if you go to a nail salon and you get your nails done whether it's acrylic poly gel whatever any type of artificial application let me know what I'm doing wrong Okay, um, the next time I do her nails, I will record. And if I do miss a step or something, I try to put the steps like in line and where I don't forget. But if I do forget, I want y'all to remember to comment because she keeps saying her nails keep popping off. And the only time that my nails pop off is if I bite them off. So I like, say if I have a little bit of lifting at the from, like a separation between my nail and my um artificial nail or my tip or whatever i'll just take mine off but i haven't the only time i ever have a nail pop off on uh, one time i had my nail pop off when i was doing a football which is requiring you i had long nails so it's requiring you to grip it and like throw it and if i and if i hit it hard on something so y'all let me know when I do this video what I'm doing wrong. All of my nail gurus, the ones again, the ones that go to nail salons, don't go to nail salons, but do their own nails. Please comment down below what I did wrong, what I'm doing wrong, what I could do better. Um, of course, I won't do the what do you call it, the cuticle area. Um, but I will do like a demonstration of how I do it. And yeah, please let me know because I just need to understand what is it that I'm doing wrong that her nails keep popping off. But these are my nails and I'm like super excited. But yeah, I really want to thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you on my next video. Mm -hmm.